Katia V5. This will be regarding shape fillet. So if you're gonna take a look over here at the command, we're gonna see that this will create a fillet between two surfaces. Actually, we're gonna see that we can also make use of more than two surfaces over here. Now to get started with the shape fillet, we have over here two surfaces. As you can see, we have the following line over here in the middle. And afterwards, this line has been extruded onto the Y and Z plane. And we have the same over here with the one in orange. Now, let's get started with shape fillet. We're going to see that by default, this will be the bitangent fillet. And if I will select, for example, port 1, the yellow surface, support to the orange surface. If I will hit preview, this will be the output. So it will be much clearer if I will click OK. And we're going to see the final result fillet over here. We can change this from radius to shorter over here. So if you're going to see that the, the output of the feature will be different over here. If you're going to make the fillet smaller, like one millimeter, it will look like this. If you're going to increase it to 20, it will look like this. Also, by default, we're going to have the um, extremity set to smooth. We can go for straight and we're going to see how that fillet will change over here. And afterwards, we're going to have that shorter distance. If you are not familiar with uh, shorter distance, we're going to take a look over here. So we see the circle, we see the line. So this will be tangent, this will be the chord. We're going to have the radius and the diameter. And the chord will be a line segment with both endpoints on the circle. And uh, the diameter is a special chord that passes through the center of the circle. So this is why the diameter is the longest chord within a circle. Now, to continue over here, we're going to take a look at the extremities. We can also go with maximum. But in this case, with maximum, that means that the surface used as support one will be extended, as you can see over here, all the way to the maximum distance. And if I will go to minimum, we're going to see that the output will be like this. So if I will click OK, this will be the final result. Usually when you add fillets within surface, you don't want leftover surface like this. So it's usually a good idea to leave it to smooth in this case. If I'm going to swap this back to radius, we're going to see the difference between that one. So this will be bend on a longer distance. And we can also change the canonic parameters over here. If you're going to check the documentation over here, we're going to see that a value of 0 0.5 will result a curve that will be a parabola. And between 0 and 0 0.5, this will be an arc of an ellipse. And we're going to have a value between 0 0.5 and 1. The curve will be a hyperbola. So if you're going to jump back over here, I will change this to be 0 0.1. We're going to see that the profile will look like this with smooth. If I will go with 0 0.7, it will look like this. So those are some changes that can be done over here. Now, we also have the possibility to go over here with more. We can define a hold curve, a spine, and also we can select faces to remove. And we also have the law over here. And as you can see, the law can be defined over here, but only after we're going to define a, a spine over here. Afterwards, we can work with that. Now, this was the bitangent fillet, and if I will go to tritangent fillet, we're going to see that we're going to have an additional selection over here. We see over here. Now, to get started with that, I will delete this fillet. And let's just create a new surface. So in this case, I will start a new sketch over here. I will create an additional line. It will look like this. And I want this line to be extruded. 
in this case I will leave the default parameters over there so I will just make this color differently so we can better see that and now if I will go to shape fillet I will choose right tangent fillet we're gonna have the support one again will be the same extrude we're gonna have the support two, and we're also gonna have the support to remove section over here so in that case I can select the additional surface that was created if I will hit preview we're now gonna see the output of this will be different we can also make use of a support to remove which will be a surface from one of those existing ones but as we can see this will be the output in this case and keep in mind that we can swap direction if i will swap the support direction like this the output surface will be the following and we can do that with each of those as you can see we're going to obtain various values over here if i will just delete that and if I will just hide the extrude for now, if I will go and define a new shape fillet, I will select again the same elements over here using by tangent. And if you want to receive a different trim after the fillet, you can just swap those directions. And we're going to see now we obtain that surface over here. And we can do the same for the bottom, which will give us the other section over here. So now in order to, to go over here and check the hold curve and spine, we're going to go and jump within a new part, which will be this one, shape fillet with law. And over here by default, if I will just activate the shape fillet, I want this to be a bi-tangent fillet between um, the sweep surface over here and the one on the bottom. If I will hit preview, we're going to see that the fillet cannot be initialized in this case. We are asked to modify the radius or support. All that we have to do is swap the orientation of the support. So in this case, if I will swap support 2 to be upwards, this will define that fillet i can make it for example 50 and we're gonna see the result of that if i would just swap the support one in this case we're gonna see that this will not work so for this case study we need to address support to orientation and let's take a look over here within um, the spine so as a spine i can select this extrude over here and afterwards we're gonna see that we're gonna have the law relimiter appearing over here from one to two we're gonna see those those points we can also change those if you want to if you're gonna move the mouse all the way over here it will go to the end point the same over here and if i will hit preview like this we're gonna have the same result just like before but now we can also go within law and over here by default we have the constant which is just um, what we had previously without using the law but we can make use of a linear law over here so we can have a start value for the fillet for example 5 and an end value of 15. if i will hit preview we're gonna see this will be 5 and it will go all the way up to 15 over here um, linear we can also change this as we can see over here I will hit preview and we can also go for an S type and this will give us a curve over here that we can work with I will hit preview if I will make the start value 1 and the end for example 30 this will be much more visible so just by addressing this law I'm not changing any values I'm just checking those um, those difference between 1 and 30 and we can also use the inverse law which in this case will just inverse those so we're going to have the 30 radius over here as the start value and one as the end value so there are different changes that can also be added over here within uh, within the advanced or we can go with implicit and we can just specify 
various radius over here within specific points. If I will click OK, we're going to see that this will be the output. I will just go back to the law and I will make this an um, S type from 1 to 30 because it went back to 1 as constant. And I would like the fillet to be like this. That is quite similar to um, other features. As we can see over here, we're going to have edge fillet and also styling fillet. But in this case, with shape fillet, we can do a various um, radius over there. Okay, so I hope you find this video useful. I will position a similar video over here on the left side and the subscribe button to the right. So that's it. Thanks for watching.